Each asana in today's class is going to ease stress and promote relaxation. Namaste, I'm Archana. A warm welcome to you. In today's session, we're going to be doing asanas to help release tension, reduce stress and help reclaim peace and calm. So we'll begin the session by sitting in a comfortable seated position, keeping our back straight, chin parallel, the crown of the head in the direction of the ceiling, palms in receiving position. Now take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, gently close your eyes. Bringing your awareness to your breath. Just observing the natural rhythm of the air moving in and out. And every time you breathe in, inviting peace, inviting calm. And as you breathe out, relax your forehead, your eyelids, your cheeks, your jaw, your neck. Inhale, and as you exhale, relax your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. Release any tension in your lower back. Every time you breathe out, gently pulling your navel back towards your spine. One more breath in. As you breathe out, letting your lower body sink deeper into the mat. On your next exhalation, gently open your eyes with a few blinks. Bring your hands to the mat, drop your right ear to your right shoulder, left hand comes up, arms in line with your shoulder and now very slowly drop it down. You're not touching the mat, just drop it here. Slowly move it off the mat and try and touch the floor. Pressing your fingertips towards the mat. Press all your fingertips, especially your little finger. Notice the stretch. The stretch feels too much. Take a deep breath in. Completely exhale through your mouth. Remember, every time you breathe out all through the class, you're going to use your exhalations to soften and release any tension. Slowly, your head comes back. Bring your hands and take it all the way. Same left hand towards the right side of the room. Stretch or place your palm on your shoulders and then gently push the elbows behind. Turn and look towards your left shoulder. Big inhalation, full exhalation. Bringing your awareness to the shoulder or the area that you're feeling the stretch as you breathe in. And as you exhale, letting go of the tightness. Release, release your hand, just raise it up towards the ceiling. Take it behind your back. Just draw circles with your neck. Chew. And three. This time, take your left ear to your left shoulder, right hand comes down. You can raise it up and drop it down. Eyes can continue to stay closed or you can keep a soft gaze. Reach your hands behind you and then try Without leaning, try and extend that hand to reach for the floor, wherever you can. 
press all your fingertips into the mat. Inhale, completely exhale. Every time you exhale, observing a stretch and releasing it. Head comes back, hands come all the way towards the left side. Place your palm or wrist on your shoulder and push this elbow behind. Turn and look towards the other side. Big inhalation, full exhalation. Release, release the hand up and down. Take it behind your back. Drop and draw circles. Two. And three. Release your hands. Interlace your fingers. Send it up towards the ceiling. Nice length in your spine. As you breathe out, pull the navel in, chin to chest, and stretch out. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out. Nice opening in your shoulder. Inhale, up, exhale. Last one. Breath in. Reach up, open your hands out. Stretch all the way behind you. Bring your hand, your left hand, like the letter L. Take your right, wrap it around it once or twice, pushing the elbows forward, Garudasana arms. Nice opening in your upper back and or the space between your shoulders. Your gaze can stay forward. Turn to the side. If you can, drop your chin towards your chest just to deepen the stretch. Creating a lot of opening in your upper back. Big breath in. Completely exhale. Release, reach your hands up. Drop it behind you. Stretch and open. Drop your chin towards the ceiling. Completely breathe out. Breathe out through your mouth. This time, your right arm, like the letter L, wrap this around. See that you're not dropping it towards your chest. Elbows popping out, forearms parallel, gaze forward. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. As you exhale, drop your chin to chest. One more inhalation, full exhalation. Release, release your hands up. Drop it to your right. Stretch the left hand over. Bending your elbow slightly. The other side, just moving here. Doesn't matter how deep you can get uh, into the stretch, just to kind of open up your side body. Last one to your left. Swing your legs to one side. Open your knees nice and wide. Drop your seat and stretch out towards your heel, forehead on the mat. Breathe in. Every time you breathe out, you can walk your hands further. Create a nice stretch in your um, arms, underarms, shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come on to your palms. 
knees beneath your seat uh, and wrist beneath your shoulder fingers pointing straight ahead engage your toes arch your back chin just gaze forward breathe out pull the navel in round this time sending it back we just going to move and coordinate the breath with your movement you can keep your eyes closed don't worry this doesn't have to be perfect simply keep moving in whatever naturally you know natural movements in your body pulling your navel in rounding your back sending your seat towards your heel inhale as you come forward arch your back chin just gaze forward we just alternating between marjari asana bidilasana and shashanka asana one more arch round and send back reach your right hand up towards the ceiling turn and thread it in the space between your left knee left palm twist for some of us we may be higher up here that's completely okay the idea here is to keep the knees wide hips towards your heels inhale and exhale this time left hand thread between the space breathe in completely breathe out one more breath in release reach your hands forward see that your hips are directly over your knees make whatever adjustment is necessary do that we are moving our hands forward and going deeper into anahata asana melting heart pose they call it the puppy dog stretch to stay here focus on exhaling collapsing your chest towards the mat you not pressing here just as you exhale sinking deeper into the pose breathe in completely breathe out Simply move forward, staying really close to the mat. From here again, send your seat back. Inhale, forward. Exhale. Nice stretch in your shoulder. Last one. Breath in, forward. Drop your belly. elbows come beneath your shoulders come into your um supported bhujangasana shalambha bhujangasana or sphinx pose once you have your elbows beneath your shoulders gaze is forward very slowly collapsing your neck inhale create length exhale collapse One more breath in. Last one. Breathe in. Lengthen. Breathe out. Collapse. Press your toes into the mat. Palms come beneath your shoulders. Come all the way up. Just moving side to side, stretching at your ankle, bending your knee. You can always look from under your right arm, left arm. Three, two, and one. Gaze forward. Step between your palms. Half feel lift. Ardha hasta utasana. Breathe out. Knees soft. Padha hasta utasana. Focus on resting your belly on your thigh so your knees can be deeply bent. Inhale. lengthen we are focusing on lengthening the back not necessarily the knee it's completely up to you depending on how flexible you feel breathe out collapse further inhale half feel it exhale 
forward. Now slowly, knees bent deeply, completely collapsed in the pose and slowly roll up. As though you're moving one part of your spine at a time. And come forward. Open your eyes, your eyes are closed like mine. Breathe in, reach your hands up. Drop your right hand towards your right thigh, left stretches to the other side. Inhale, nice side bend here. Exhale. Breathe in, hands come up, breathe out, hinge at your hip, fold forward, collapse with your left, hold your right elbow, right hold your left elbow, just swing side to side. And slowly roll up. Reach your hands up, this time left and bend. So we're not twisting. Not even looking down, nice straight, nice side opening. Every time you breathe out, trying to sink further towards your left. And one, inhale, reach up, bend at your knees and then fold forward. We're going to sway further. All the way towards your left and right eyes can stay closed. And one. From here, release up. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right leg up. Grab hold of your knee. <laughs> if you're wobbly, completely fine. Just nicely. Holding, stretching it up, two and one. Release, bring it behind you. Step, breathe in, reach up, breathe out, hinge, forward fold. Parsha Uttanasana, breathe in, breathe out your pyramid pose. One, just press your right hand onto the mat, turn and twist. Left hand comes up. Reach your left hand all the way in line with you, your nice stretch there. Drop it down. Reach your right hand up towards in line with your arm, just stretching. And then take it all the way and open. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Your hands can stay on the outside or if you're wobbly, bring it on the inside. Triangle pose. We may not have perfect alignment here. Completely fine. Drop it down. Spin the back leg. Come into your lizard pose. Stretch and hold. Three. Two. Walk that left leg towards the left side of the mat. Drop your hands down if you can. If not, simply continue to stay on your palm. These are variations and options that you have based on how you feel in your body, based on how long you've been into yoga or any form of uh, you know stretching. Inhale. Exhale, two, and inhale, just inviting that peace and calm. As you exhale, you can always also stack your forearms, those of you who can reach here, just noticing the area that you feel the tension in, just letting go. One, press into the earth, slowly come up, engage the back leg, release, shake your legs out. Breathe in 
and breathe out. Again, bend your left, bend your right. And one step between your palms. Breathe out, fold, roll forward. Inhale, slowly come up, reach your hands up. This time, grab hold of your left leg, balance, pull and hold. Two and one, send it back. Inhale up, exhale. Parshavatanasana, pyramid pose. The combination of forward folds and full exhalations is a great way to calm your nervous system. Press the left hand to the mat. Reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. And then stretch. Two. And one. Drop it down. Now reach this left hand forward. And then open it up towards the ceiling. You can always place the hands on your inside if balance is an issue. And one. Drop it down. I'm going to walk ahead slightly. And get into your lizard. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you need to walk your foot on the outside, both your palms are on the inside. See if you can... Go further. Observe if one side feels different than the other. Maybe you can sink deeper into the pose on one side compared to the other. Just observe. The whole idea of yoga is to bring balance in body and mind. And the best way to do is start by balancing out your body. Observe if this side feels different. Notice the areas that feel more stretched. And you simply stay on your palm. One, engage the back leg, lift and reach back. Stretch everything out. Three. Two and one. Swing your legs to one side. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Just moving the knees up and down, but the konasana, butterfly pose. And start leaning forward. See how further you can get. See that we're not collapsing and rounding here. Create length. Bring the elbow towards your waist. Breathe in. Lengthen. Breathe out. Collapse further. Reach your hands out. Chin to chest, forehead in the direction of your toes. Nice opening there. That. Slowly come up and now if you have a towel which I forgot to place here, I'm just going to bring that. So if you have a towel or a blanket, just roll it about you know one foot or one and a half foot. Sit in Baddha Konasana, place it where your spine is slightly higher. More at your thoracic, your rib. Let your head drop down. Lie down and soak the Baddha Konasana. Bring your awareness to your feet. Relax your feet, your ankle, your legs, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your pelvic region. Take a deep breath in. 
Now as we breathe out, we'll chant the A ah sound. So we're going to sound that all throughout our exhalation, observing the vibrations in our lower body. Ah. Now bring your awareness to your abdomen, your waist, your chest, your neck, the back of your neck, shoulders, arms, elbows, forearms, wrist, palms, your fingers, your lower back, the middle of your back, your upper back. Now take a deep breath in and this time as we breathe out, we'll chant the U Kara, just making the sound U by pursing our lips. U. Observing vibrations of O spread all through the middle part of our body. Bringing our awareness to our face and head region. Relaxing your jaw. Relax your tongue, your cheeks, your ears, your nose, your eyelids, your eyes, eyebrows, forehead crown of your head, sides of your head, the back of your head. We're going to chant the Ma sound all through our exhalation, observing the vibrations in our head and face region. Breathe in. As you breathe out, mm, comfortable here just simply stay in the same position if not you want to gently lift your thighs up straighten your legs just roll to one side and take off the roll towel from under your spine hands come to rest next to you legs Collapse to the side, we'll chant a round of home, noticing the vibrations all through our body. You can continue to stay here for as long as you want to, feeling completely relaxed completely at peace thank you so much for being here and doing this practice with me i would love to hear your experience in the comments below if you're new here remember to subscribe to my channel if you're already following me i appreciate your support very soon i'm coming up with a 30 days of yoga from the 1st of Jan, which is inspired by Panchabhuta or the five elements. Get your friends and family to join. That way we would have more people who are healthy, strong and fit both in body and in mind. Namaste.